Welcome back to my channel guys, it's Rachel here. As always, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. You can also like this video so that it is referred to other viewers as well. So today I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I plan to read in the month of February. I know that February is Black History Month and it's usually a month where people try to celebrate the lives of black people in general and the greatness that is being black. So I am going to be paying close attention to books written by black authors, which I mean on a normal day anyway, that's mostly what this channel is about. So if you're looking for recommendations by black authors, by Africans, book recommendations, you can just go through my channel. There is a whole lot for you to read and enjoy. So in the month of February, I'm going to be reading some books and I'm quite excited about this paperbacks and hardbacks that I have here with me because they are quite, you know, I mean, well, small and short is relative, which you guys have told me, but I like the fact that they're all within 200 to 300 pages and you know 200 to 250 pages which is something that i typically like to breeze through so i'm also going to be reading some soft copy books on script like some romance books and i'm going to be listening to some audio books as well i know that the talia hibbert books the brown sisters i've been interested in that and lately i've just been looking for some lovely romance reads so i'm going to listen to audiobooks on that one i don't know if the audiobooks are better than just reading it myself if you've listened to the audiobooks by talia hibbert please let me know in the comments which one is better so yeah so let me just quickly run down the books that i have here with me i'm going to read dreams and assorted nightmares it's by abubakar adam ibrahim i recently did a review of season of crimson blossoms which i actually enjoyed and he wrote that one this was released in 2020 and i'm thankful that i got a copy gifted to me so i'm going to be reading that it's about 230 something pages but i'm just going to read out the synopsis for you so i think it's a collection of short stories <sighs> i'm in for it because i typically don't like to get too invested in short stories but look at my life like at the end of the day like the stories are so nice though but then why do they end so why are they so short you know that's my problem but i'm trying to have an open mind and besides this guy writes beautifully so i'm eager to see what this book is about so i can sort of compare the two reading experiences that i will have like reading these books so zango is a surreal town where men some with erect manhoods die when leaves fall from a life tree imagination this crazy like let me read that again zango is a surreal town where men some with erect manhoods die when leaves fall from a life tree zango is both setting and specter for dreams and assorted nightmares a collection of interconnecting short stories which ex explore the spaces between life and death and beyond there is a poignant story of a special needs boy with prescience another about the family of a philandering artist trying to pick up the pieces after his violent death okay one of a teen forced to make a heartbreaking choice after her mother disappears and another about a woman who reveals a terrible secret to her childhood friend who is in a coma the characters come richly layered and memorable like nanzin who had but slowly lost the perfect smile in the world new bride nana aisha left alone to face armed marauders who invade her home and brigands aldu kore and mamuna dajaj who share a pure and precious love the stories feel mystical and dark. The palpable compassion with which they are written gives them warmth and light. Like rivulets, the stories easily flow into each other. Aided by Ibrahim's signature hypnotic writing and majestic prose, this is a collection to savor, especially for its many enigmas. The silent poetry and tragedies, <laughs> tragedies, tragedies of everyday life the darkness and tenderness of the human mind and the crossroads between dreams and the supernatural this is a weird town like a weird weird town i can't wait to like see what is going on here it's like weird okay zango okay so abubakar adam ibrahim is a nigerian writer and journalist so if you want you can pick up this book it's a i'm sure it will be a good one you guys can look out for my 
review on that. Then next up, I'm looking to read The Death of Vivek Oji. It's by Akweke Emezi. Akweke Emezi is like a popular Nigerian writer, maybe Nigerian-American, I don't know. Nigerian writer, and I think she wrote Fresh Water, which I've had on my shelf, by the way, for like a really long time, and I haven't gotten to it. But I was looking forward to reading this book, like, last year, and I was finally, I finally got a copy, and I'm looking forward to reading it, and thankfully, it's like 250 something pages, the prints are big, so these are books that I'm really excited to get into, because they look like, you know, they're going to be an exciting read, the prints are big, the pages are not that many, so we'll see how it goes. They burned down the market on the day Vivek Oji died. One afternoon, a mother opens her front door to find the length of her son's body stretched out on the veranda, swaddled in aquete material, his head on her welcome mat. Hmm. The death of Vivek Oji transports us to the day of Vivek's birth, the day his grandmother, Ahuna, died. It is the story of a overprotective mother and a distant father and the heart-wrenching tale of one family struggle to understand their child just as Vivek learns to recognize himself. Teeming with unforgettable characters whose lives have been shaped by Vivek's gentle and enigmatic spirit, it shares with us a Nigerian childhood that challenges expectations. This novel and its celebration of the innocence and optimism of youth will touch all those who embrace it. Hmm, interesting. Do you know I always thought that Vivek was a woman? I didn't even know it was a boy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that. If you've read this book or you've read Dreams and Assorted Nightmares, please let me know in the comments what you thought about it. No spoilers, please. In the month of February, I'm looking to read Dreaming of Ways to Understand You. It's by Jerry Chiemeke. It's a collection of 15 short stories. It was sent to me by the author. Thank you so much, Jerry. And he even like signed it and inscribed it. So kind of him. He's a Nigerian writer so if you're looking for another recommendation this is one i'm excited to look at it oh once again the prints look very inviting so it's about let me just read out what the synopsis is right it's a collection of 15 short stories that explore the complexities of human relationships these stories take us on a journey through the lives of complex characters who attempt to navigate the intricacies of living in contemporary nigeria an online hookup takes a really awkward turn a secondary school reunion brings back dark memories a lawyer struggles to keep up with the mental health complexities of his love interest a queer woman battles with the decade-long commitment issues and a young man is forced to reminisce on a childhood crush while reliving moments from a difficult past I will definitely share my thoughts on it with you guys so let's see how that goes next stop by Yagiasi. I am looking forward to reading The Transcendent Kingdom. I think I got this book last year. Last year was the first time I read Home Going, even though it was published in 2016. Absolutely loved it. And I thought Yagiasi is like a gem. She's like a gem in the writing world. So I'm excited to see what this one is about. I'm finally getting into it. She's a Ghanaian writer. She was born in Mampong, Ghana, and raised in Huntsville, Alabama. Her first novel, Home Going, was a Sunday Times bestseller it won the national book critics circle award for best first novel and was shortlisted for the pen robert w bingham prize for debut fiction look like i was when i read home going i was so surprised i'm like wait you're telling me that this is a debut novel like what are you saying that book is really really good so i'm excited to get into transcendent kingdom i know a couple of you guys on booktube may have read transcendent kingdom please let me know how it went or how it was for you in the comments no spoilers please next up in february i'm going to be reading love in color it's by nigerian british or british nigerian journalist and writer Bolu Baba Lola. Um, it's Love in Color, Mythical Tales from Around the World Retold. And I've been seeing a lot of positive, good reviews on this book. And I am definitely interested in getting to it this month of February. I will definitely share my thoughts on this book with you guys. So a high-born Nigerian goddess feels bitten down and unappreciated by her gracious lover and longs to be truly seen. A young businesswoman attempts to make a great leap in her company and an even greater one in her love life. A powerful Ghanaian spokeswoman is forced to decide whether to uphold her family's politics or to be true to her heart. Whether captured in the passion of love at first sight or realizing that self-love takes precedence over romantic connection, the characters in Babalola's vibrant stories 
space up to and navigate this most complex human emotion and try to capture its intangible essence. Bolu takes a step in decolonizing tropes of love and creates new stories inspired by the wildly beautiful and astonishingly diverse tales of romance and desire that already exist in so many communities and cultures. Transporting us across continents and perspectives, this collection shows that humanity like love comes in Technicolor. So this is her debut anthology and I am excited to read this. She is a black author and um, definitely anything black author, I'm down for it. So if you guys have read or you're looking to read, let me know in the comments as well. So I come to the end of my TBR for February. Let me know which books you have read, which ones you enjoyed, which ones you had thoughts about. Please remember, no spoilers in the comments. And let me know about the audiobooks that I plan to read. Let me know also in the comments what you plan to read in the month of February. Happy Black History Month, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.